Perfect. Yeah, yeah. We got both professional okay. microphones here. So great. <laughs> great. Good. Thank you very much for cool. taking time. Uh, I, I won't, I won't no take too much of your time, so I'll just go straight into this. Um, so I'm going to record this, and after that, you'll tell me if you want this to be published or not, according to how it goes. Or Is that okay? Sure, sure. I have no idea what you're going to ask me. But All right, sure. no. <laughs> it's, not, it's not an exam, so it just... Uh, basically, what we're trying to, to do is to understand if we're going in the right direction uh, with TRIPS to serve the industry needs. And, uh, yeah, and I told about you because you were one of the first, actually, you were the first to mention blockchain on the stage at uh, Antonio's <laughs> Vacation Rent yeah. Over Summit in, um, that was in September 2017, right? So really early on. <laughs> yeah, so, true. <laughs> yeah, I'm very curious of how this evolved for you as personally and as a company. So actually, my, my first question actually is, can you just spend a minute to say about your company, what you're doing and who you are, just for people who don't know you? Sure. Oh, so yeah, please go ahead. Now? Yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, so Rentals United is a channel manager. A channel manager means a distribution platform for uh, for property managers um, to to basically be able to advertise their properties efficiently onto uh, a, a high number of channels. This includes uh, OTAs um, like Booking.com, Expedia, etc. Um, vacation rental websites like Airbnb, HomeAway, and uh, and uh, travel agents. Right? No one goes and updates their website, the websites by themselves, yep. or the pricing. They would use a software like ours. So that's what we do, and I'm the CMO and co-founder of Rentus United. Great. Sorry, because my, my microphone went back to the building. So, so uh, let me kind of translate this for people who are not from our space, uh, mostly people from the blockchain space. Uh, basically, what you're doing is you are you you are a one point where people can upload their update their the calendars prices and information in general and then what your software does it spreads it and it keeps it synchronized with uh with all the channels which like airbnb booking and so on right so it is very important right. uh, part of the infrastructure because the whole infrastructure is kind of fragmented and uh, what you do is put, you put everything together and Yes. You do even more. You connect even to third party services like uh, Beyond Pricing. I was reading on your website, like pricing yep. things. And so, OK, great. Um, there's several companies like yours in the space. And this is a really growing space, isn't it? Like the channel management and PMS, is it? Well, uh, we have uh, we have two different types of channel managers. You have companies that have specialized in property management softwares. So everything that has to do with operational, uh, being able to um, do invoicing, to, to give tasks to your staff, etc. And these PMS companies, as we call them, they uh, tend to also connect to one or two or three OTAs and update the pricing and the availability. But when it comes to specialized channel management, which is what we do, there's very few of us. So our go-to-market strategy has been to connect to these PMSs and offer them uh, extended channel management uh, uh, capabilities. So they would maybe connect to two or three global websites, mm -hmm. and through us, their customers can connect to 60 more. Okay. So me, if I'm a property manager, I either start from a channel manager like Rentos United, and then mm -hmm. you kind of extend it to managing other kind of data like mm -hmm. cleaning and the other things you said, or I start mm -hmm. from a PMS and the PMS extends. So basically the whole ecosystem is, is kind of cooperating into yes. making it easier for, perfect. Okay. Yes, API connections is the word of the day. Yeah. API, <laughs> okay, that's, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. really easy. Let me ask mm -hmm. you about APIs. What's the situation with the APIs in general? Are they mm -hmm. open, Growing. are they expensive? Are they, how would you like them to be? Um, so what we've seen is that few companies have now decided to open up their softwares. We realize that the marketplace idea where your customer can take advantage of what you do and you specialize in 
and to also take advantage of the other niches, uh, the other companies that are around via you. So it is a, a selling point for a company today if you say you have a marketplace of connected APIs. So we've seen a huge increase in that and most uh, thriving companies in our field, in our software, most softwares in our field would connect to a number of different um, of different um, specializations, if you will. Okay. So API is growing. It's growing massively. It's growing. Everyone okay. has a yes, 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 definitely. Great. Uh, let's go to the blockchain. So what have since you know when you talked about it on on stage, and I remember you mentioned at the time Winding Tree, which was doing, I think, an ICO at that time. And yep. today it's been two years. We're gonna be in Como soon, right? Again. So. Yep. Did you follow? What is your take on the blockchain in general today? I, I was very interested at, at the beginning. So when I spoke about it three years ago, I was very interested in in um, exploring the possibilities of us becoming a channel manager that could potentially distribute also on the blockchain. Okay. What I found that the the, 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 the stumbling block uh, was at the time, and I'm hoping you're solving it, uh, is that there was no language to translate uh, what the kind of information that we have, which is property, amenities, number of bedrooms, pricing, etc., to translate into a blockchain language. So that that missing link was a huge stumbling block, which made me kind of uh, stop looking at it for a while, thinking, you know, I need someone or we need someone as an industry to really look at it in detail and, and find a way to for us to, you know, put all this content onto the blockchain. So I don't know if you have found the solution yet, but I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> okay, give me just a second because it's the frame rate is not working, so the recording won't be good. Okay, should be better now. Uh, I would say a lot has improved, but we are still far from uh, having any blockchain solution in this space to be ready for integration. Uh, we are just actually getting into it right now. So it is going to happen. I mean, if this doesn't happen, there's no way the blockchain can impact our space. So it is going to happen. It's still mm -hmm. going to take time and I wouldn't tell you go back now because you're gonna lose the train there's time okay but it's gonna happen so good Phew. Uh, I, yeah i know i think it was a good, good decision not to kind of uh invest resources into blockchain two years ago or even last year or even now give it some time we, we're gonna let you know when it, when it's time for that it may be uh, we're talking probably more than a year so relax about that. Right. the whole blockchain well, space is, is running but there's a lot to be done. It's like rebuilding the internet. So uh, exactly. it, the, the infrastructure is being laid out right now. So we're still doing the pipes and roads. We now arrive to the shops and, you know, all the, the lights and all the rest. Okay. Great. So, Great. Yeah, so I'm decision. ready. I'm ready. Let me know when and, uh, and we'll get on to yeah, it. <laughs> you know it when because there's going to be all this integration uh, done from the blockchain space and doing in your language in a way. Like probably when you started looking into it, you found stuff like Solidity language and nobody knew what that was. Mm -hmm. Now there's JavaScript libraries. Uh, there's going to be XML. So the block it's on the blockchain to adapt to the world not vice versa. Um, Great. Okay, so let's suppose that we, we get to the point where uh, your company can integrate with the blockchain. What kind of opportunities do you see in the blockchain for a company like yours? Um, well, I see, especially for our clients, right, our property managers, a lot of opportunities because they would suddenly um, really cut the cost uh, that they have today. I, the commissions of certain OTAs is extremely high, and um, and OTAs are so powerful today that they can you know go on increasing uh, as they please, um, and so being able to go peer to peer would uh, would really be amazing for our clients because they would save a lot of money, and so would the guests because the guest is also being uh, taxed as such for the service. So you know from a from a cost point of view, it's uh, it would be amazing. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, and yeah, this is one of the main points actually. And uh, a, a secondary, um, a side effect of this will be there's a, there's going to be a lot of resources uh, freed from your customers who can spend more money on services. And for the guest, that means also better services in general. So 
I guess Absolutely. again, uh, even also on this second question, uh, I like your answer because it's, it's, it's going. It means you understand what's happening. Mm -hmm. uh, this is great. Uh, what about you mentioning OTAs? Do you feel there's an imbalance in the market because of the OTAs? When you say they are too powerful, what do you mean? Okay, so what? I am in the middle of a massive research. Um, we, when people come to us, they want to be connected to about six websites, the most powerful ones, right? So the, the large global ones. Um, but there are a number of very interesting niche out there, um, niche websites, local websites that do really great. I have customers in Florida that um, make 90% of their bookings through a local site, a local site that you and I would never have heard of. But uh, if you search for Florida vacation rentals, you, you'll be number one, page one. And so these guys are making lots of bookings. And, um, and if we ignore you know, the local and the niche, uh, the power of the OTAs will grow and grow and grow. We have to continue and make sure that there is a lot of, of movement there and a lot of innovation when it comes to how guests want to book and uh, how property managers can advertise themselves. So that's, that's my current research which I'll be presenting at, uh, at the events that we'll see each other at. <laughs> okay, so uh, why do you think they are not, like people are not using them as much as it deserve? I mean, why guests yeah. don't book through them? No, guests do book through them, okay, but they obviously don't have the same reach. The problem is the marketing dollar, obviously. Marketing. You know, um, Booking.com and Airbnb spend um, many millions of dollars uh, every day, probably, yeah. on their marketing. So it's hard for them to, you know, to compete, clearly. But we've seen a lot of investment in, uh, in niche websites in, uh, in, recent, uh, in the recent year. And I feel that you know, if VCs who have uh, who are hard to give their money away, I know a few things about that. Uh, so if they believe in those sites, uh, there must be something good to it. And um, and so so yeah, quite a few out there that I think will shake up things, and that we need to to help promote, right? So that's my job in the next six months, is to make sure that uh, they're on they're on everybody's mind. Do you think there's um? kind of a, a trust issue also like yeah I, I i like this niche website but i've never heard of them i would like to go through them uh, let's go through booking because i know it do, do you see this kind of issue yes yes i mean there are tons of issues why you would go to booking.com okay. um but uh you know there are also tons of different preferences tons of different types of travelers out there and I think the websites that would do great, the niche website that would do great, will obviously give the sense of trust to their users, right? That's number one criteria, Be, you know, work well on mobile, give trust, have a really good search functionality, etc. And there's a, a new player now, I don't know if you saw in Vacation Rentals, which is, uh, is Google. Right? Yeah. Google uh, is, uh, is our newest uh, big channel that we connected. And uh, they're also shaking things up big time, especially with the with the meta search uh, companies, because suddenly you'd go to Google in order to find uh, your perfect vacation rentals, as opposed to go to uh, a tripping or a home to go, etc. Mm -hmm. So, you know, lots happening. I'm not saying they're going to eat everything up, but uh, there's lots, lots of movement, and that's good for the industry. We want movement. We don't want to be stuck with with uh, you know consolidated. OTAs that take over the world. We want we want to support uh, all sorts of different channels. Okay. So your marketing mix can be wider, right? right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm just trying to see, you know, again, how the blockchain can help here. The, the blockchain cannot really help <clears throat> on the marketing side, uh, but what where it can help is on the trust side because uh, right now I'm booking through Airbnb or booking because I know them and I trust them, and maybe I won't book on the small niche side because. I don't want to get that extra risk in an already mm -hmm. risky, you know, situation when I'm booking to go abroad with the family or whatever. The blockchain uh, takes the trust issue away from the OTAs and says, OK, this is now a protocol. It means people will in years, in years from now, not, not tomorrow, but people will feel more comfortable trusting the blockchain than any company. OK, because the blockchain is kind of mathematical rule of law guarantee why companies are still companies so yeah i trust i'm gonna trust as much the blockchain as i trust the big otas uh, but now after when we get to the point i will be able to trust even the small niche website 
because it's on the blockchain, because it's using the blockchain. So that mm -hmm. probably will help the small niche websites. And uh, yeah, and about Google, uh, Google is going to act as a meta search, right? So it's going to compare prices. Yeah, so it's, I don't know if you saw those hotels, I've been doing it for yeah. quite a few years, right? It's called the hotel ads. Um, in, uh, in vacation rentals, we don't have that yet. It's a very beta experiment at the moment, but you're able to filter on map um, between hotels and vacation rentals. And these would link, the links that you would see would go either to an OTA or to a preferred partner like uh, Rentals United, where you then have uh, the, the book direct experience um, with, uh, with the property manager. So we, for example, I mean, this could be interesting for us in terms of signing the contract, right? Because we have um, pages that are called book direct. So we give our property managers for each and every property that they put on our website, uh, on our software, we give them a, a, a website, uh, a page, right? Where their clients can go and book direct. So they put in their credit cards, et cetera, and, uh, and click book, and that would count to them as a book direct uh, uh, click as opposed to an OTA uh, booking. And so maybe we can explore that together, how you know your technology can help us make the contract and uh, take the money. Oh, okay, the, the money, the, the payment you mean, right? Yeah, because that's another yeah, so issue. Like, uh, yeah, again, uh, I'm, I'm going through a property manager. What happens if something goes wrong? The, the branding value of the OTAs is so high that I know I'm protected. I will feel less protected with a property manager. And the, mm -hmm. the blockchain solves that 100% because right, yeah. the blockchain takes the reputation out of the hands of the property manager and puts it on the blockchain. So again, if I'm a property manager and the booking comes through a smart contract, I, I'm not going to mess up. I'm going to be careful of what I do with my customer because he can punish me as much as he can punish me through the OTA. Okay, so right. it, it puts the direct booking at the same level as the OTA booking. So this is really powerful because the older reviews you get on the blockchain do not belong to the blockchain website. Like in case of trips, we don't have control on the reviews. They don't belong to the property manager. They are just on the blockchain. It's just like there, out there. So me as a property manager, when I have a thousand reviews in Airbnb, I'm very careful of every single customer. And when I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a thousand reviews on the blockchain, I'm gonna be very careful of every customer. That means yeah. that the customers are going to feel more comfortable in booking direct. So That's that great. could be really good news in the long term. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how are you going to do this on a big scale, though? Uh, I mean, how, how, are you going to, how are you going to scale giving this technology to, to everyone? You have to see uh, what we're doing, not as a, another website or another startup. You have to visualize the blockchain as something which goes between the internet and the companies. So it's a new layer. Okay. Uh, so how do I acquire that layer? How do I get that layer? It's just there like the internet. Uh, a way I found to explain this recently, which is pretty, it, it works, is the blockchain is simply the internet, which got a very, very strong upgrade. It's nothing new, which you have to apply to or whatever. It's like now, they, before the internet could only manage data. And by managing data, by making data cheap to, to transmit, it completely changed the world. Now the internet can manage trust and reputation and payments. So that makes the internet much more powerful. And the internet is open, is decentralized, and you just go, you just use it. So it is scalable by default. Uh, okay. It's just your decision as a company to, shall I use these new capabilities or not? That's okay. it. But it's there. It's 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 for everybody. You'll have to send me a how to video though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh, um, yeah, I won't get into this now because it's a long thing, but okay. start, you can see it like this, right? Just the, the internet is gonna become much stronger now and we don't need uh, we don't need the OTAs to do this for us anymore. We won't need Airbnb to take care of payments anymore because now the blockchain does it. That's one thing. We don't okay. need Airbnb to guarantee yeah. reviews anymore because the blockchain does it, blockchain. right? So it, it's going to be interesting, Super. but you know, again, it's going to take a few years. Uh, do you <laughs> see any dangers of the blockchain in, in your business model or in the whole vacation rental? Have you ever considered how negative it could be yeah. for you? 
Well, in the early days when I when I thought of, when I thought of it and when I presented it, it was like it could replace what we're doing, right? Um, because suddenly um, peer-to-peer means you don't need a distribution um, person in the middle. You you doing your distribution one-on-one. So it, it could mean the end of channel management, you know. Hopefully it doesn't. <laughs> and if it doesn't, it's probably very, very far off. Yeah. Um, but, um, but yeah, potentially that could be a risk in a very long term. Yeah. Uh, in the very, very long term, maybe. In the short term, no, I mean, by short term, I mean at least 10 years. I don't see OTAs disappear. I don't see fragmentation disappear. Of course, everything which happens on the blockchain is probably going to be more interconnected. But I mean, no, you, you have a lot of time to follow <laughs> and adapt in case. And if, if, <laughs> even if it gets to that point, you're going to, on the way to that, you know, bad outcome, there's going to be so many new opportunities that you say, okay, it doesn't matter, you know? Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> the only mistake you can do is close your eyes over the next 20 years, just no, forget no, no, about no, no. blockchain. But you're not a person who's going to do that. That's guaranteed. So no, there, don't worry, yeah, only good news not. on that side. <laughs> Even good news for OTAs, because what, what I'm saying here is like, some it's things OTAs do, right? yeah, mm-hmm. OTAs are doing many things. They could stop doing some things and do better other things. I mean, mm-hmm. again, that's a layer. It's just making things more powerful for everybody. Of course, again, like uh, uh, Blockbuster, if you don't adapt to the internet, then Netflix comes up, right? Mm -hmm. But that's a decision you have to take. You you see this is happening, it's happening very slowly. If you don't adapt, well, this is business, right? You're going to die. But uh, I'm sure that OTAs are very careful. You know, Booking.com, they joined the Libra Association. Have you heard about that? No. Libra, have you, you heard about Libra? No, neither. Oh, it's a Facebook <laughs> coin. Probably, you know, Facebook is going to oh, try to. Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And okay. there is a, a, a group of 25 companies who are part of this association. One of these companies is Le- uh, Booking Holdings. So they're looking uh-huh. into this, right? Yes. And I've been be even more, I'm sure. These guys are, yes. are, are really careful and, and very. Google, and Google for sure as well. Oh, I mean, everybody. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes. Uh, is, is there yes. anything you would like to. Like you, you feel you don't understand too much and you would like to know more about the blockchain in general? Any yeah, I, in general, I'd love to have a, you know, a longer chat with you um, when we see each other in Como okay. um, to understand where you're at also with, your, with what you're doing. Yeah. And um, yeah, no, I'm, I'd love to keep an eye on it. I mean, it's not my current you know, most pressing issue, but uh, most pressing topic. Um, but yes, definitely love to have a chat with you, um, you know, face to face would be great. Okay. Okay. Good. Mm-hmm. In the meantime, mm-hmm. you are in the newsletter, so you get emails once in a while. Yes. And you get some, yes, yes, yes. you know, and bits of information. Them. You read them? Okay. <laughs> Thank you so Even much. Even though they're in Italian. <laughs> no, no. Do, I, do you get them in Italian? I think so. Uh, no. So you are in the wrong mailing list probably. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I, I guess this is all I, I, I wanted to ask you and it's good if you stop here because if and i try to find things to say i'm gonna go ahead one hour but (laughs) because i'm so excited about that just one thing actually uh you you're asking where we at right now there's a there's an app where people can upload their apartments already um so if you want to upload one apartment you can do it through the app and it's very easy Uh, like a month ago the whole issue with getting crypto to do this i don't know if you no, but it was very, very hard. So now if you download an app, uh, and this is not even our app, is Origin Protocol, because we have the internet, we have the blockchain, and then we have protocols like, you know, in internet will be SMTP, FTP, etc. Yes. There's this company who, who is doing the protocols for the sharing economy on the blockchain. And this is the Origin Protocol company in San Francisco. And they released this app, which we are using, where you can easily upload one apartment. One, because there's no integration with calendars, prices, China managers. So it's so if I, if I get a booking, what? I'm no, it's, it's too early. <laughs> it's too early right now. This is okay, uh, okay. it's like, oh, just to have a look. Okay. You can play with it for now. I mean, it works. Okay. There's no bookings, but it works. Uh, when we have integration with China managers, that's, that's when things can scale. OK, but uh, okay. Well, th- that's where you know, we're at. Which door to knock. You know, yeah. which door to knock. Yeah, 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 great. Yeah, so we'll be up for it. It is moving. Yeah, yeah, it's moving behind the scenes a lot, but there's a lot of work to do. So 
six months nothing major is gonna happen let's say so and and you you will know when something happens all right yeah so well, we might as well give you our api and stuff already right so so you you're ready you're prepared uh what do you have like specifications for uh, our api to get yeah. access to right yeah definitely yeah. when our when, api we give yeah. you our api right. you have to integrate it yeah. so when on our end is ready we can we can start moving we can on. integrate and then done um, yeah okay cool. last question and i'll let you go what, do you get any blockchain talk from your customers as people are following do they know is it something which is, is it a subject no not lately okay after I presented in Como, uh, was it Como? It was Florence, I think. It was Florence. Florence um, yeah. Then, yeah, I had lots of questions about it. But uh, since then, I also led the topic, you know, lie. People were confused, you know, can I be on there? Can right. I not be on there? How can I use it now? Well, you can't. Too early, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so, no, there's no, no, no talks at the moment. No. You, I do you... follow Winding Tree. I follow okay. what they're doing. Um, okay. I have uh, friends in the company, so... Okay. But um, yeah, in terms of VR, and no, I don't get questions. Great, no. great. But uh, I, I'd yeah. love to get some questions. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no worry. This is, you know, again, this is the infrastructure. I'll send it to you if I get questions. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> uh, think about that. It's very connected to the price of Bitcoin, which is crazy. If the price of Bitcoin is going up, when, when you present it, the price is going up. And it went to the all time high. And when it goes up, you're going to get all these questions, which is completely uh, actually unrelated from the technology and what's actually happening. but. It's, it's, it's the money. What, yeah, it's what brings the interest. So when you start cool. asking questions, go and check the price of Bitcoin and you will see there is a correlation. <laughs> I see. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's um, all about the money, isn't it? It's all about it. We want easy money, you know, and, and get rich quick. That's, uh, yeah. that's what everybody <laughs> wants. But we have to work, so. Yeah. <laughs> great. Vanessa, it all was right. great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for It okay. was nice to see you. And I look forward to seeing you in Como. Perfect. See you soon. Bye-bye. Eh? Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Adios. Bye.